Hey what's up YouTube, it's Willington here and today I will be talking to the PIA VPN users, private internet access users. Now with all the DNS leaks going around all over the internet and people having trouble um, there, um, IPs being displayed um, in places they should not be all over the internet. I thought I would make a video to the PIA users like me so you know which settings you really need to have turned on on your computer in order to have um, privacy and making sure that you're not having any leaks even if you're using a VPN. So we will get to that. Okay, so obviously the first thing you want to do is go get into your settings that you can get to by right clicking on that icon on the tray and go to settings. Um, this is that, but what you need is going into the advanced settings. If this is how you are set up like this, you are not safe. I mean, you are safe compared to most people who just go on the internet without any VPN or proxy, but you are still not safe. You can still show your IP address in some cases. All right, so we are about to change that, making sure to make sure your security is as high as it can be. So just leave the this as is works for me, and the port forwarding just leave that you know unchecked. It's safer to have it unchecked than it is when you check it. Um, the next thing down here is the VPN kill switch. Now, what does this do? you can only get to the internet if you have the VPN turned on. Without the VPN turned on, there's no internet on your computer. That's what that does. There might be times that you might forget, so in case you forget and go on, you know, online and using um, the internet before activating it, in that case, you will be open to the world. So this kill switch just enables just make sure that you can only go online if you remember to turn on your vpn so i've always left that one on now when you turn it on you're going to get a warning they're just telling you that this might cause some connection issues and will not work if you use more than one network inter interface on your computer simultaneously so let's say it can only disable one connection. So if you have a VLAN connection and a wireless connection, it will disable one and one will still be able to communicate. So you wanna make sure that you're only using one connection at a time. So yeah, just so you know. So the next one up is a DNS leak protection. Now this is one the most important of all. Now, as you can tell by what it's called, the DNS leak protection feature activates VPN DNS leak protection. Um, this ensures that DNS requests are routed through the VPN. That's basically what it is. It just makes sure that all the DNS, you know, requests from all different websites and um, softwares, are, everything is just routed through the tunnel. Nothing goes outside of the tunnel. So you do want to have that checked. Now again, they will give you this warning right here or rather um, letting you know that it just requires modifying the operating system's network settings and in some cases can cause connectivity issues, but it's not, I haven't had any problems, maybe once actually. I had to uninstall um, the app and reinstall it and then it worked fine. Which I'm glad it did because for some reason this application that does not auto update. So as soon as I had those problems, I uninstalled it and reinstalled it. I got more features and more um, connections here that I can use compared to what I used to have, have before. So I'm glad that happens, but that's off the topic. Anyways, so yeah, they will let you know that you might have connection issues, but like I said, I've been using it for over a year now and I've only um, had one time recently that I had to, I, it wasn't connecting for some reason, so I had to uninstall the, um, the app and reinstall it and it, it works great. 
So just go ahead and enable that. And there we have those two done and basically that's so far good. And then there's this one, the IPv6 leak protection. I mean, it's IPv6 is not common right now. So most likely you don't need it, but you might. So I usually will leave that one on too, just to ensure maximum protection. You know, I know people are using it. Um, the v, um, the IPv6 is, you know, getting bigger and bigger, but it's not something that's really um, big right now yet because everyone is IPv4 at the moment. Um, but yeah, it's something that, I mean, it doesn't hurt anything. So you just leave it, leave that one connected to just to ensure, you know, maximum protection. And that's basically it. That's basically it. If you have all these settings marked the way they are right now, you are safe. I can't say 100% because it's the internet, you know, things change and people are always finding ways. But as of right now, I have not had any problems with my connection, with having this, and I haven't had any leak leaks at all. So what you wanna do is go ahead and save. And I'll actually go online here and show, um, do DNS leak test. So let's use, use one and this one. Uh, So this is what it's showing, which is obviously wrong. <laughs> so that's good. And we can do a standard taste and that's basically still wrong. That's not me. And actually I wanted, there's another place here that I've used this one right here. in his seeing trying to find something and also seeing the the same thing so I'm obviously proof right now none of this is right this is the public IP that is being shown this is the local IP that's being shown and it's also wrong both of these are wrong um, so yeah, you do want to do those settings and with all those settings up to right, you will be all set. Please thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome, awesome videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye. So what we want to get to is the settings and you know you can get to those by left clicking on the icon by right clicking